So in today's video we will learn how to connect a switch on the FPGA board to a LED. So as the previous video uh, I'm using the Basis 3 from Digilent. So the first thing we want to do is to open Vivado. Let's uh, create project. So let's give it a name. We'll call it LED switch. This is the di directory uh, of the project. And always remember to check the box of create a project subdirectory. So next, next. So of course uh, I'll choose the basis three board and finish. So let's change the language from Verilog to VHDL. Okay. So let's add sources, add or create design sources. Next, create file. We'll call it top. Okay. Finish. So now Vivado is asking uh, to define the ports. So we'll have an input port and we'll call it switch. And then we'll have an output port and we'll call it LED. OK. So now Vivado is creating the top level, the VHD file. So we can open it, and as we can see, we have two ports, switch an input port and LED an output port. So we have to write LED, so this, is, this will assign the value of switch to the port LED, so we click Ctrl S to save the file. Then we can run the synthesis. This will take very little time because it's a really simple project. So the synthesis has completed. Now we can open the synthesize design. Okay. So now we have to connect uh, the ports we have declared in uh, the top file to the actual ports on the FPGA board. So we have to go to IO ports, scalar ports. Here you can see this is the LED port, which is an output, and this is the switch port, which is an input. So if you check on the FPGA, we can see that the switch is on the R2 port, whereas the LED is on L1 port. So the LED on L1, the standard is uh, LVCMOS 33, whereas for the input port is R2, and the standard is LVCMOS 33. Control S to save. Okay. And now Vivado will create the constraint file. We can call it however however we want. Okay. So now we can generate the bitstream. Of course Vivado will relaunch the synthesis. 
Yes. Okay. So we can close the synthesized design. And now Vivado will run the synthesis and then the implementation and then Vivado will create the bitstream file. This will take a couple of minutes since it's a really simple project. So the implementation has finished. Now we can open the hardware manager. Okay. Now we can turn on the FPGA board. So we can open target, auto connect. So now Vivado is connected to the FPGA. And now we can program the device uh, with our bitstream top.bit program so now by switching on the switch the LED will uh, turn on and when we switch off the switch the LED will turn off So thank you guys for watching this video, remember to subscribe, leave a like and follow me on uh, Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you guys and we'll see you in the next video.